How's it? How's it? So, thought I'd do something a little bit different today, but something that I've always wanted to do. Let's do some video game tutorials. So, here I got something nice and short planned. It's just how to make the best weapon you can at the very first bench. Now, a lot of these weapon tutorials for Dead Space 3, they always end up with a really good weapon, but it's at the end of the game or full of DLC and stuff that you can't reasonably get on your first round through. So this is the absolute best weapon that you can make at the very first bench. And in fact, this has carried me all the way through to the game. With some minor modifications and of course, upgrading. And you can get all of these before you hit the very first bench. Now, your bread and butter here is going to be this right here. The Diffraction Taurus. That will be doing most of your DPS, but it's also the hardest to get. I'll show you exactly how to do that though, after the tutorial. And everything else, you can just get right along the way. The plasma core, you'll fish that off of your plasma cutter that the game starts you off with. The tesla core is just lying in the road, and so is the heavy frame. The only thing that's difficult to get is the diffraction torus, and that is out in the very first section of the game, in the space work, spacewalk, excuse me, of the Roanoke. And no upgrades. You don't have upgrades at the very beginning of the game, so that's how I'm going to show it. Now, I am on the hardest difficulty. Impossible. So, this weapon does have a couple of caveats. When you use the primary, it takes a bit of a charge. So, it's a combo weapon. You drop them with a force gun, and then you zap them. And this works great for the starting slashers in the very beginning of the game. So, you drop them with the force gun, you aim for a limb, and you zap them. And you could one-shot most of the slashers, but some of the other enemies can be trouble on upgraded. So, you usually knock down the most mobile enemy, aim for a limb, and pop them. The difficult ones are the leapers. You'll shoot them, and they sort of curl into a ball. They don't leave an obvious limb to get shot. Same thing with the lurkers. So, do your best with the leapers, and I usually just ignore the lurkers entirely. The effect of the primary weapon, it'll chain, it'll zap the things near it as well, and I find that usually takes out all of the lurkers. So, we're going to knock them down and zap them. And be patient with the zapping, because it takes some recharging. Just wait, and give them another knock of the force gun, if you have to. Alright, here we go. Great, lurker. Pot shot. Shambler. On the ground he goes, for the knee. Let him get punched. but he's on the ground. And there you go. Not bad for a weapon at the very start of the game. Do it one more time just to prove my point. Reload first, of course. Here comes a slasher. Drop him. Then let the leaper approach. Drop him. Go for that upper shoulder. Get up again. On the ground he goes. Go for the lever. He's the most mobile enemy. Drop him. The slasher. Down. And we got him. No problem. No stasis. No rolling. Didn't get clawed. Didn't get gnawed on. And uh, if that looks good to you, just stick around and I'll show you how to put it all together. Hello, hello. The game has just deposited us right in front of the Roanoke at the very start of the game. And this is where you can get the Diffraction Taurus. Now, the game is going to make it seem like you got to go and get everyone inside and all buttoned up and ready and, you know, 
not suffocating. But that's not true at all. They'll hold on forever. And what we're going for is on the back side of the wall. Right there, on the other side of the ring. It's one of the um, blow upable windows that you can get to. So, off we go. Now, this is a huge area. This is great for exploring. And if you pick up all the stuff here, you'll find quite a lot. And you can start off the game in fine style. But we're just here for the diffraction Taurus. There's also lurkers and mines. We're gonna ignore the lurkers, ignore the stuff, shoot the mines. And go pretty fast over this area because a lurker pops up right here on the ring. Can't believe it. I was doing this tutorial just once before. I've seen a lot of ships, but never anything like these. Yeah, that's because the sovereign colonies were sore losers. When they lost the secession war to EarthGov, they scuttled their entire fleet. Surprised any survived. What were they doing this far from home anyway? If this is where Ellie went. You can bet it had something to do with the markers. Thank you for interrupting me. Anyway, I was just doing this tutorial, or trying to. And when I blew this open, the part just went flying off into space, and I couldn't find it. So it's in this window right here. There it is. Diffraction Taurus. And when we go back, I'm going to go back on the other side. That way there's less, less used air cans. So, that was the hard part. You could probably figure out how to do all the other stuff on your own. But if you want to see the complete tutorial how to put the weapon together, just follow me. I guess there's no accounting for taste with this weapon. I really thought I had it in the bag, and it was the objective best. I played some co-op with my friend, and he just liked the carbine. So, it's whatever you like, I guess. I do believe this would be the fastest time to kill weapon. It looks like the power's out everywhere. There's no way to activate the cargo doors. I think there's a manual crank on the other door. See it? Right. I'll see if I can get inside. But people just like what they like. Well, got air. Dust. Any sign of Ellie? No. Looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. I'll try to open the cargo doors. That's nice. I forgot how absolutely laughable the start of this game is. If you want to have some fun, every time Isaac falls off of something, or dangles off of it, drink. And good luck. <laughs> I'd probably be throwing up in the bathroom as we speak. There's our heavy standard frame. Now all we need is the Tesla core, and we'll have everything. Inside this ship, but I can't leave Rosen and lock. Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. Hey, don't stray too far. That's an order. There's a tes Tesla core. And there's other stuff in this room, but that's not what we're here for. I guess if you really want to have the best weapon in the game, or at the start of the game. It's a dead end. Looks like someone shut a bulkhead for quarantine. Nah, can we cut through it? 
No. It's too thick. But it might cycle open if I can power it up. That did it. And there's a bench on the same circuit. Bench? With all the parts lying around here, I bet I can make a better weapon than this one. Yeah, got smart thinking. Just interrupting me. How rude. Anyway, here we are, and we got all of our stuff. We got our Tesla core, Differaction Taurus, heavy standard frame, reload, and I played Dead Space 2, so I get some other junk. Oh boy. Um, R. We don't need to do this. Hmm. You know, I forgot how to dismantle things. I think I need to first make my other weapon. I'm gonna put the Tesla core. And on the end of that, we're going to stake the Diffraction Taurus. And... T to create. Blueprint successfully created. I guess we're F to be done. Replace the Plasma Cutter. Yeah, I don't need the tutorial. And then I forget how to do all the buttons. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Amateur hour here. Alright, we're gonna go to the safe and dismantle. Now, on the bottom, we're gonna stick that plasma core. And there you go. We're basically at the very first start of this tutorial when I was, when I was looking at everything, and here's our weapon. There we go. Plasma core on the bottom. Fraction Taurus on the top. And this gun can get you all the way through the whole game. At least it does for me. Well, hope you found this informative. Let me know if you like any of the video game content. I'd like to do more of it. But this is just dipping my toes into it. Until next time. Shoot. The one we're interested in is this one. I lied. The part will pop up as four lights. There it is. Uh oh. Uh oh.